everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am doing a Facebook Live today to hopefully inspire you to set bigger goals. The goal is to, well, the goal for me is to help entrepreneurs like you create your happiest life ever. And in order to do that, we can't deprive ourselves of the money that we really deserve to be making, the impact we deserve to be making and should be using our gifts for, right? Making a bigger impact in this world. A lot of you want to help more people and that's what people tell me when I say, what do you do? Well, I help people blank, fill in the blank, right? I help people blank. And so in order to help more people, you need to reach out to more people. You need to do more marketing and lead generation and sales and follow up and things like that, right? You need to get yourself out there more and be more visible and have more exposure and do all kinds of things to get in front of more people so that you can make that bigger impact and really help more people, right? So, but you're not marketing enough. I know you're not. I know you're not marketing enough. Uh, because so many of you are not reaching your full potential with the revenue that you're making in your business. And so either you think that it's too hard or I'm too new to be charging more or doing more, or you don't know how to do something to get in front of more people, or you just have a lack of confidence, which happens, it's very common to have lack of confidence in yourself or your pricing or um, what you're doing. So you hold back a little bit more. Maybe you don't get out in front of as many people as you could because of that lack of confidence or self-doubt. We want to get rid of the self-doubt. How do we do that? <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of a process, right? It doesn't happen overnight. Uh, there's there's a lot of mindset coaches and confidence coaches out there, of course. I, am, I work on it to a certain extent with some clients, but it really, frankly, just takes time. And the more clients you get that are paying you and valuing you for your time and expertise, the more confidence you'll get. And so the faster you can make more money and get more clients, the faster your confidence will rise and the faster you'll make a bigger impact. I hope this is making sense. But sometimes we hold back for so long and we think about things or we think, think about where we're going to go with our business or think about even starting a business and you wait months and months and sometimes years because you're in the thinking incubation period. You've got to kick yourself out of that thinking and incubation period as quickly as possible. You want to make faster decisions in your business. Money follows speed, people. Money follows speed. If you want to make more money, you've got to hurry up and make decisions. You will make some, you'll need to do some course correcting along the way. You can't wait until it's perfect or done to even start or launch or talk about what it is you want to do in your business. Uh, because it'll never be done, frankly. Your website's never gonna be done, you guys. Just so you know, your website's never gonna be done. You constantly need to be adding content and changing pages and adding new programs, possibly, and adding new things to your website, uh, possibly adding things to your brand, to your marketing materials. You're never done. So stop waiting till done or perfect, because there is no such thing in the world of entrepreneurialism, frankly. And not only that, but you're holding back and you're waiting to help those people that you really want to help. So I'm here today to help you stop hiding, stop procrastinating, stop holding yourself back, stop waiting till perfect or done, please, and stop doubting yourself. Some of the people I talk to, and this might be the case for you, you guys have like, 20 years of schooling and experience and uh, 15 years of job, like, you know, corporate jobs or whatever. And you might just be starting your own business within the next, you know, in the last six months. And you think you're so new. It's like, no, you have eons of experience, of years of experience in there. You have so much experience 
there's no reason you can't come out of the gate charging what somebody else charges, the same as what somebody else charges in your industry uh, that's been in the business for 10, 20 years. There's no reason if you have that experience. Now, if you ha don't have that experience, yeah, you might want to get some experience, but you have to talk to more people. So this is all about getting, setting bigger goals. So one thing I, I developed over the last few years is what I call my need number worksheet. And you can find it on my website, frankly. It's uh, four pages. I know it seems a little, it's not a budget, but it's four pages of line items of things that you might need to um, pay for or get money for every single month, okay? It's the things that you're already paying for, your, your bills, yes, your mortgage, whatever, right? But it's the things also that you aren't paying for yet that you need to, probably add into your business, but you haven't yet because you don't have the money yet. So what happens is people look at their checkbook and they say, oh, I don't have the money for that yet. So they don't buy it. Instead of putting it on a goal sheet, the need number worksheet is a goal sheet, and putting it on like, I know I need an assistant. I know I need to update my website. I know I need to spend money on some graphic design for new marketing materials. I know I need to do this, 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 and this. And putting those dollar figures into your need number worksheet so that when you come out on the end with the totals of what you need every month, that might not be what you're making yet, okay? But that becomes your goal. That becomes your goal your need number goal, your money goal, right? Now, of course, there's a want goal. Like That's just to survive with what you currently are doing and what you really should put into your business so that you are more of a smooth running machine, right? We all need assistance. We all need webmasters. We all need certain technologies. You, you should be putting that into your goal sheet every month so that you don't set too low of goals. I see it every day. People are setting goals just to meet their current needs, but they haven't set goals to meet their current needs, plus all the things that they should be putting into place in their business to make it more profitable and more efficient, and then putting in even more money into their goal sheet so that they have profit. You have profit and fun money and things, money to do stuff with, right? You gotta put that stuff into your need number worksheet. So I would recommend you go get it, right? Go get my need number worksheet, seriously. When my clients first started put, filling that out, they're like, wow, I had no idea I was, my goals were too low. And I know, I see now how much I need to put as a goal in my, in my business every single month. It will make a huge difference because imagine this, if you are going out there every day going, I need to make $5,000, I need to make $5,000 this month, I gotta pay my mortgage, my bills, da, 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 da. If it's, you know, say you have a two income household. If you're a one income household, you might need to make $10,000 a month or $8,000 a month. I need to make eight, whatever number you're putting out there in your head, whether you're saying it, thinking it, writing it down, or looking at your bills, whatever number is in your head is the number that you're probably not going to exceed in a monthly revenues, okay? And you're certainly not gonna be able to plot out then, okay, if I need to make $10,000 and my thing costs $1,000, I need to make 10 sales, then how many people do I need to talk to because I don't close everybody that I talk to, so I might need to close, I might close one out of four people, so I need to talk to 40 people to make 10 sales, in, in, in a month to make $10,000. So if you know you need to make, talk to 40 people in sales conversations every month, which is a lot of people, frankly, uh, then you better step up your game because that does not mean that you only have to talk to 40 or market to 40 people. You need to market to probably 4,000 people to find 40 people who are willing to, and paying attention, mind you, willing to talk to you in order to find the 10 people who are willing to buy from you. So the numbers are way bigger than you think as far as how many people need to see your marketing messages every single month. And this is due to the fact that we're just so busy. This is why there's not 400 people watching this video live when I'm on live, because people are doing 400 different things in their business. There's, they've got notifications from all their inboxes, their email, their website, their meetups, their 
you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever, they've got all kinds of electronic inboxes to check and notifications coming at them on their, on their phone, their computer, and it's overwhelming, right? So they're hardly seeing hardly anything that you're putting out. And unfortunately, we just have to do more in order to reach more. But first, the first thing to do is we have to set that bigger goal, okay? Hey, Jill, nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Thank God for my assistant. Include travel and upgrade home on sheet too. Yes, <laughs> I think you probably filled out my need number worksheet a long time ago. Thank you, Jill. Uh, yeah, you, what about travel? What about a vacation? Put your vacation in there. That's on the need number worksheet. And I travel for business and speak all the time. And uh, it's about somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000. I just round up to about $3,000 per trip. And that usually covers the flight, the airfare, or the flight, the hotel, and the tickets and stuff. Oh, thanks, Jill. Well, let me tell you where to find it. She says, I'll look for it on your site. The place you want to go to find it is go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com. That's the regular website, right? Jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Now, there's a page you can go to. It's forward slash need number, all spelled out, need number. But you can also go to my free trainings page, which is forward slash free trainings, and you'll see it there, but also you'll see like seven other free trainings you can get various different topics. So either way you want to go, seriously, I mean, it's a really cool tool. Um, I give it for free because I think it's so important to educate entrepreneurs on setting bigger goals. Oh, thank you, sweetie, for putting the link in there. I really appreciate you. <laughs> uh, and so that is one of the things I talk about in my new book is setting bigger goals. It's actually, I think, chapter number one. And I... You know, one of the, yeah, it's setting bigger goals. And then we talk about lifestyle vision, reality check, motivation killers, passion and purpose, starting point, where to start, clearing space, making time for stuff that you need to do, um, business models, how to decide what business models, and then time to sell, when is the time to sell, uh, online setup, so we can have all your online setup. This is in my new book, Jumpstart Your New Business Now comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing the book launch. Uh, relationship marketing, team building, advanced strategies, and what's next. These are the chapters that are in this book. And um, I put, even if you've been in business for quite some time, there's a lot of things in this book that uh, a lot of entrepreneurs don't think about on a regular basis. They don't think about expanding their product line. They don't think about the systems that it takes. They don't think about setting their business up online the right way from the start and making it more efficient. So I am so passionate about getting people more efficient and more productive in their business and more so that because that leads to more profit without doing a lot more work. So if you are stuck in like disorganization mode or um, I say manual labor chaos, right, with a bunch of paperwork, um, or you're doing things over and over and over again, there's probably a way you can automate, delegate, or systematize some of the things in your business so that you can be more efficient, profitable, and productive. And isn't that what you want? I mean, that brings more freedom to your life, more ability to do things you want to do, and or help more people. So it's all about looking at a bigger picture, setting bigger goals, getting the reality check of what you need to do in your business, and then making it happen and staying productive and staying motivated, right? So, you know, I'm doing a, I'll do another video tomorrow with a little, another couple excerpts from the book, um, but this one is really, really critical. And I think that it's so important to make sure that you are setting the bar high enough on a monthly basis and you're not just. Um, winging it, winging it with your goals and how much money you really need to make. Um, what time, what time what tomorrow? I don't know what time I'm going to be on tomorrow, actually, Jill. <laughs> I'm a wing it kind of girl. And so, uh, but I'll probably be on a few times throughout the day because tomorrow, Tuesday, August 21st is my book launch for the Jumpstart Your New Business Now. So all day tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the launch and you can buy it on Kindle. For 99 cents. So don't buy it today, buy it tomorrow, please, on Tuesday, August 21st. And then I do need reviews on the book, so I know it's gonna be hard to like buy it and read it all and then review it all in 24 hours. So do your best 
to possibly give me a review. I need it on the Kindle book in Amazon, uh, the review, not the, um, not the hard copy yet. I do need that eventually, but you could do both. Um, anywho, so I plan on um, being on Facebook a lot tomorrow and being very interactive, giving you guys some tips and more resources. Um, thank you, Jill. Nice to see you, Jen. Thank you. And uh, so I'm going to stop here today, but um, please, please, please think of how you can um, really increase your goals So and stop saying that low number. Say a higher number. If you don't reach it, at least you'll probably make more than you did before with the lower number. So, you know, it's okay if you don't reach the goal that you're setting, but you will get farther, faster, and reach it sooner if you set bigger goals. I know you will. So you got to trust. You got to trust and have faith in yourself that it'll all be, it'll all work itself out in the end, you guys. Okay? So this is Katrina Sawa. Go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash free trainings. Grab your need number worksheet for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, guys.